Seven, we're tracking new developments on a suspicious death investigation in Cranston. The body of a woman was found inside a garage over the weekend. Now tonight, we've learned police have arrested a man they consider a person of interest in the case. 31-year-old James Adams was taken into custody on a separate charge today. Eyewitness News reporter Catherine Sotnik is live outside of Cranston Police Headquarters with what she's learned. Well, yes, we do have several new developments here tonight. Late today, we can tell you that Cranston police did pick up James Adams on an unrelated charge to that suspicious death. We've also learned that he is a state registered sex offender and that he was hiding out in Providence. Late Tuesday evening, Cranston police's crime scene truck was at the Charles Gate North housing complex in Providence. The place where they say they nabbed this man, 31-year-old James Adams, caught on a felony assault charge. But police say he's also a person of interest in a suspicious death of a young woman. Her body found on Friday in this detached Cranston garage on Farmington Ave. Neighbors complained of a foul odor and called police. And while not confirmed by officials at this point, neighbors tell us she was found in a bag behind a couch. Now with this display, neighbors are trying to ward off bad vibes. Meantime, neighbors of where police say Adams was last known to live at this house on Midway Drive in the Buttonwood section of Warwick are very uneasy, too uneasy to show their faces on TV. I have seen them within probably the last month or so. I, we've seen them around. We keep our eye out because we were aware of the situation. Police have notified several nearby homes in Warwick over the past few days to be on the lookout for Adams and that he could be armed and dangerous. Some neighbors even tell us they were aware of Adams' past when he became a state registered sex offender. They let everyone in the school system know and they send a letter with his picture. So it does appear as if Cranston police here tonight are collecting all the evidence they possibly can to build their case. Now, as for that victim, her body is at the state medical examiner's office, and police right now are not releasing her name. Reporting live from the West Bay Mulba newsroom from Cranston Police Headquarters, I'm Catherine Sotnik, Eyewitness News.